So hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm gonna be taking on a small project for you guys. I wanna show you how to remove the headlights. I really haven't seen many videos. So I have that one that's really dirty. Got some water inside. So I'll be showing you a few of the steps that you would need to take to remove it. And uh, we'll go from there. Also forgot we're gonna be installing halos as well so here's the halos that we have uh, they're from vigilantecustoms.com uh, it brings the Bluetooth uh, they actually have two uh, I guess separate ways that you can connect there's a RF controller I believe is what it's called and they have a bluetooth controller so you can control it right from your cell phone um and these are the halos uh let me take them out of the packet you guys can see they're very well built uh they come with the 3m tape in the back they have all the connectors that you need it brings some alcohol pads uh, you know right before you stick on that double-sided tape and they have uh, This little scanner for the with the camera for the app so you can install it on your cell phone um, So Not sure how we're gonna do this on the headlights I believe we're gonna have to after we remove it, there has to be a way where we can slide in that connector through the headlights or through this piece um, in order to get all the, the wiring through. So I'm going to go ahead down and tackle this project now. So let's see how we're going to do it. So just to show you guys kind of what I did, uh, you're gonna need a T27, uh, like a star point, uh, with a number, a 10 millimeter um, wrench. And for the inside bolt, it's gonna be a seven millimeter uh, so with the T27, there's a small bolt right in here. There's also a bolt that's in here if you want to take out the whole assembly. But since I have the relocator kit, I can't get to it. So I have to remove this one. And then inside here, inside here, there's two screws. Uh, one here, one here and one at the top and that's these little small seven millimeter screws and uh, that's basically the frame that holds the headlights so now i'm gonna take them out from here there's two like uh snapping uh things right at the top you just pull it out and i can actually see the headlight
out. It's just a lot of dirt and debris in there that stays in there. Um, so the next step after you uh, remove the bolts um, from the frame right in there, the three bolts, there's going to be a lot of small bolts all the way around. So after you pull it and you snap these two up here, there's the first one that you're going to want to get. You're going to get it from up here, which is that one right there. After you remove that one, then continue all the way around it. There's one there, one there, one there, and then on the other side, there's some as well. And you get to remove the whole projector assembly for the headlight. There's small Phillips screwdriver bolts. So, um, once you get those out, then now in order for me to get in there since the hole for the light is basically uh really small and i could tell there's some water in there oh yeah so that's why that bulb it's it's basically not even there anymore uh once i removed it uh, basically in pieces so i guarantee you inside here there's going to be a lot of pieces from that bulb that shattered um so now i'm going to have to take that nut out this one and this one so you can actually remove this and take it apart in half you can clean in there put it back together and then you can assemble it again so I'll show you guys once I remove those three bolts again. So I removed the three bolts and the nuts that were holding this top section on. So now what you're going to want to do is get right in between here all the way around. See it has a little clip, clip there, it has another clip right on this side so you just kind of pry it off all the way around slowly until it all becomes a part i'll show you guys when i get to that part so here it is guys basically removed uh after removing those three bolts you take your uh flathead go all the way around and has like a small gasket all the way around it and then you can get right inside to your projector i don't know if you can see but in there you have all the little pieces of glass from that light bulb so uh, i'm gonna be cleaning this putting it back together and then once i do that then i'll start to figure out how we're gonna be putting on those halos um, right inside there, which I'm thinking uh, I can probably do it right around this plastic bezel. Um, probably create a little notch right in here and the cables will go through and then basically is to connect them. So I'll see how I'm going to do that and record it for you guys so you guys can see that process as well. So I'll catch up in a bit. All right, guys. So here it is. They're already on. Uh, the lens is cleaned inside there. So cleaned it all the way around now in order to, for me to get both of them on I actually had to get this inside uh, projector um, out it has three 
has three screws on the inside just like this one does but this one has more all the way around it's all these screws that I had showed you before that go all the way around that one in the back there so when you remove all of them you can actually take out the projector and the whole thing is going to come out so after you take all that out what I actually did I used that top piece the top uh, section right underneath there that's already has a groove right on this top section and I just cut a little notch into it and I got the wire through. I don't know if you can see that clearly there, but both of them I got to do the same thing. So it actually worked out perfectly. So all I'll have to do now is just run these wires that are down here. Um, and I'm thinking about removing this plastic and putting this box which are the ones that I have to uh, connect it to uh, somewhere underneath here like that I can kind of hide it away and up above you know where water might not hit it as much so once I complete that then I should be able to turn them on and show you guys how they're gonna look I'm pretty excited because these things have a lot of different modes. You can put them, I guess, to like, they call it like vibrate. So it kind of pulses and uh, they go all the way around like the light. Um, so it has a lot of different modes that you can set it to and it's right directly from your phone. So I don't think it could get any better than that. And then I'll have to download the app with that small paper there so can't wait to get to that point so i'm gonna have to do the other side now i actually haven't haven't started it yet so i'm gonna start this other side now and once i get that completed then i show you the end results so here it is guys finally got them done look at how sick these lights look they have over a hundred modes where you can put them to blank they kind of go around in a certain color and uh, have a whole bunch of different modes that you can put them so they are very very nice i got to hide the box right around here underneath this plastic um cover where the snorkels are at and uh, did all the wiring and everything in there. It's all up here um, where I got to just slide all the cables and wiring through. So very happy with this product. Very simple, very easy to use. It's all Bluetooth. So I would recommend it to anyone that's trying to get these done. I actually, I had to silicone the lights onto the plastic because the 3m tape that it brought it was kind of lifted a little bit so it didn't get to stick on there right so i did the silicone all the way around and uh came out beautiful all you have to do is just clean out all the sides uh from it after you're done and, and it dries you can take a little small blade and just cut around it and it's very simple to do so very happy with this product shout out to vigilante customs um they're the ones that i bought them off of online i'll post the, the link in the description so you guys can see and uh we'll see you guys next time